Innovative technology to pick your fresh produce all around the clock. Southeast Produce Weekly's Chip Carter shows us a robotic strawberry harvester making its way through Florida fields. Almost everyone would agree that labor is the biggest issue facing agriculture today. Automation, robotics are the obvious answer for the future, but the question has been, how do you pick something small and soft like this with a robot? I'm with Gary Wisnatsky of Berry Grower Wish Farms, but Gary is also the co-founder of Harvest Crew Robotics. Gary, over the last few years we've watched as this big lumbering behemoth has slowly come to life, an automated strawberry picker. How close is that getting to becoming a reality that strawberry growers are going to be able to, to utilize in their fields? Yeah, we're very close. We're expecting to have an actual commercial harvester in the fields next year. That will be actually generating revenue for a harvest crew. Uh, it, this has been a, quite a journey though, you know, we've been at this for a little over five years now and gone through a number of iterations, but we believe that we're right at the cusp of having the one that's going to be the commercial vehicle. So each year, every different version has shown progress over the ones before. I know initially part of the challenge is um, making sure that those blades and the pickers can right, raise and lower to find the ripe fruit on the plant. Strawberries, a lot of people don't realize that it's a lot of passes you have to make on a strawberry field because what, what separates what we're doing versus other automation that's happened in agriculture is we're selective harvesting. So we're having to come in here and pick only the ripe berries because berries don't ripen after they've been harvested. So you're, every three days you have to come across a field and selectively pick the, the red berries, leave the greens and flowers unharmed. And that's uh, been the challenge. I mean, but we've, I believe we've got it solved. Our vision system is uh, near 100% now where we can, when we, if we can see the berry, we can identify the level of ripeness it's at. Well, the rule of thumb on a, picking a strawberry field uh, over a three day pick cycle, you need about one to one and a half people per acre. And one of our machines, we believe working a 20 hour day during peak will be able to cover about 25 acres. It's going to replace 25 to 30 people, one harvester machine. Now there are some people who would say you take those 25 or 30 people, you're taking them out of the workforce. And most people in agriculture know the issue is that the people are no longer showing up for these jobs. Uh, the, the people that remain, there'll be better paying jobs. There'll be technicians, there'll be people that will maintenance and service the equipment. So the, the job, the, the scale, the price of the, uh, paid to the workers for these jobs will be higher. And the people that are leaving agriculture, they're leaving anyway. It's clear that automation is the future of agriculture. In this field in Plant City, Florida, that future just got one step closer. I'm Chip Carter from SoutheastProduceWeekly.com, reporting for RFD-TV. As always, Chip, thanks for the report. Of course, be on the lookout for more reports as he joins us from the Southern Exposure Conference.